Greetings, Capricorn, coming on to give you guys your reading. So lend me about 20, 30 minutes to divine on your behalf. And hopefully I will. Woo! <laughs> I'm doing that because, honey, Scorpio and Sag reading was something else. But hopefully I will um, channel a message for you, Capricorn, that will be entertaining, uh, resourceful, informative. And, um, you know, hopefully it'll be conducive to something that you've already been asking. And you probably already know the answers, but sometimes we come on and get these readings and it just confirms what we already know, right? So pull up, Capricorn, pull up. It is your turn. It is your turn. So... Thank you, Spirit, for consistency in this reading for Capricorn. You have brought about a beautiful message for Scorpio and Sag. Don't stop with Capricorn. Let us know what you know, Spirit. Sweet Spirit of love. Sweet Spirit of light. Sweet Spirit of accuracy and honesty. Thank you for using me as a trusted and true vessel to bring about a message for Capricorn. For the collective that will soon be here. Show me what you know, Spirit. What is it that Capricorn needs to know? Ashe. I'll go ahead and keep this card. Ashe. Three of Cups. Show me more. Show me more. Ashe. So no, I will not keep that too many. Thank you, Spirit, for the third card for Capricorn. Come on, Capricorn, lend me your energy. This is for you. Okay, I'll take all of these. Let's see what I got here. Oh, wow. Quite a few came out. <laughs> I guess you said what well, you said. You said you wanted us. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wowzer. And he gave me right on point the cards that i need three six nine and he gave me nine okay so we have the three of cups the seven of cups justice the world transformation chariot three of swords seven of wands and the two of pentacles yeah my goodness <laughs> scorpio i mean capricorn Ooh, okay. Well, one thing I can see beyond everything else before I even begin to channel this for you is that you have the death card transformation right in the center of your reading, okay? So that that alone is letting me know that there is some turbulence going on, okay? Some um and 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 not necessarily in a dark um deathy type of way, but Definitely in some transitional um, ways that there, you know, that there is some transformation taking place. So let's go ahead and start with the top three. Three of Cups, Seven of Cups, and Justice. I know beyond the shadow of a doubt, this is about your relationship. This is about some type of... Um, some type of relationship that probably... Um, ended because there was no equality there was no reciprocity you felt like you were doing more giving more being more than your partner point blank period three of cups seven of cups the justice card okay the three of cups is about celebration it's about um having people around you that celebrate you, okay? Or, or you're celebrating them or y'all are celebrating with one another, okay? Um, it's just a big celebratory card. So I believe that whatever you had in the very beginning, that's exactly what it was with that person. It was celebratory. It was worth celebrating. Y'all celebrated. Y'all did the damn thing. But somewhere between the Three of Cups and the Seven, seven of Cups, a ball dropped, Somebody dropped the ball. Somebody stopped doing the things that needed to be done. Somebody stopped uh, filling the cups, okay? So the Seven of Cups is about delusions, okay? It's about um, feeling like you might have to <laughs> swap them out. Feeling like you might need to choose some other options if they're 
going to remain delusional, then guess what? Then I will <laughs> dilute you and go and do something else, okay? And I believe that that's exactly what took place, Capricorn, okay? Somebody's not pulling their weight in the love department, okay? Um, and they're delusional. You're not delusional. They're delusional by thinking that you're not going to, at some point, weigh your options. And that's exactly what the Seven of Cups is all about. It's about weighing options. It's about taking inventory, taking assessment, marking out. It's almost like you said, okay, now before I let her go, before I let him go, let me let me weigh the pros and the cons, okay? Or let me look at each individual most important factors in this relationship and see, you know, am I the one tripping? So you did. You 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 went through a, you know, um, Check one, check two, check three. You marked all your boxes. You crossed all your T's, dotted all your I's. You really went through a process of um, elimination to make sure that you were not the one delusional, okay? And when you finished with your list of um, cups, what came out is that you were not being treated how you wanted to be treated. There was no justification. There was no... Uh, equality the scales were not balanced okay the scales were not balanced and you made a very um liberal decision and i don't think that you did it in an ugly way i think you just chose me not me <laughs> but you you said i choose me okay that's what you did you said i choose me now since then, your world has changed. I believe that this breakup led into some other uh, transitions, okay? I believe that you left a lot of things, okay? Um, mentally, physically, emotionally. I think you made some decisions to leave a lot of things that were no longer fulfilling. This was like the catalyst, okay? This breaking up. This divorce, you know, place the energy where it belongs, was the catalyst of you saying, matter of fact, and I'm going to start fucking with this stuff down here too, because, you know, brrr, name it, you know, it, this almost, this almost gave you the, in, the power, this, this empowered you to literally say, I'm not dealing with nothing that's not giving me what I'm giving it. Okay, now the world card, that's all about that completion, a new page, a new chapter, a new category, okay, a new season of life, okay, you're feeling empowered, you're feeling in alignment with yourself, if you're feeling really bossed up, boss-like in your personal life, not this ain't got nothing to do with be on the job, but you're feeling bossed up in your own, in your own world to make decisions for yourself to better yourself. Like, I'm not staying here because I'm not getting what I need uh, from this. And that could have been on the job. Now, that part could have been about the job, okay? Now, with this transformation, I feel like, with this death card, I feel like something happened out of your control. Something happened that was beyond you, okay? So, it could have been um, the death of a job, okay? Um, it could have been... Uh, your car stopped working, okay? The death of a car. <laughs> uh, it doesn't feel like the death of a person. It feels like l other little things around you that you didn't have no control over died, okay? So um, that may have inspired you to have to go find another job, okay? Or find something else because whatever that thing was ended. And again, that the thing that ended uh, was outside of your control. So it didn't matter. You were already bossed up from having this world card, from having a, a new opportunity or new uh, season of your life to change. So if something, if you were fired from a job, if your car died, uh, if, if one of your homegirls decided, you know, you're not uh, uh, caring enough for me and I don't want to be friends no more, you know, for what, you know, all these other factors that could have 
you know, taken place that decided it was going to leave you or it was going to fire you or it was going to, you know, transform out of your life. You didn't give a shit. You said, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> cool, bye. Because see, the chariot card is about somebody who's in motion. The chariot card is about somebody who is, you know, wielding and moving through the darkness, through the frequencies. I don't have time to sit and baby you. Okay, you don't want to be here. I'm okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, so you didn't stop your chariot. You did not lower your chariot for anything, even the things that tried to throw you, okay? Because I feel like this little situation up here, this breakup, that person may have tried to throw you with some negative you know, some negative uh, text messages or some long, drawn out, overly emotional, bullshit ass emails or, you know, whatever. And then here comes this little situation here that, that tried to, you know, wrap you up and tangle you up. But it didn't it didn't work because you were so high on your chariot that, again, you were just like, Psh, whatever. OK, but then came came the 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 moment when you had to lower the chariot and when we lower the chariot because you know you can't stay high all the time even the moon and the sun goes down so every once in a while we have to lower our chariots right so when you lowered your chariot and, and when and that would equate to you know when you take time out and you lay in your bed you know at night time and you start to think that's what lowering your chariot means for me i think that you really did think about the heartache the heartbreak of this situation up here because I believe you put a lot of energy, a lot of yourself into this relationship. And when you looked back over it and you realized that the person did not put in as much as you did or they didn't even try, or maybe, or maybe, just maybe for some of you, you're thinking this person didn't even fight the, for the relationship. I told them I didn't want to be with them no more to see if they was really going to put forth effort to try to get me back or to try to keep me from going. And they didn't even put in no effort. You know, place the energy where it belongs. Place the energy where it belongs. But some, I think when you lowered your chariot and you, and you parked it for the night and you started to think about it, you were like, well, damn. Okay. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in how everybody doesn't give what I give. And then when I tell them I'm tired and, I, and I'm no longer giving, they don't even overextend themselves or bend over backwards to keep me. So I, I believe that you were very disappointed, okay? Um, the seven of wands lets me know that you had to fight through the emotions, okay? Because Capricorns, y'all are not really good at sharing emotions. You have emotions, but you're not really good at sharing them. So I believe that you have had to fight through your own emotions. Um, now that's, that's, you know, and I'm not going to, I hate to say this word, but for the lack of a better word, but it's your fault only because you don't want to talk to anybody about them, okay? Um, I believe that you deal with your emotions on your own, which makes you have to battle them too. And ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? You are Saturn ruled, so it's probably best for you to handle your emotions because only you know how to handle them anyway, right? So, you know, but I, I I do believe that you went through them and you handled them with an immense bravery because I believe that there were moments where you probably were drowning in this energy, okay, whether you admit it to somebody or not, you know, heartbreak, disappointment, you know, disgust, you know, that that's those are heavy, heavy, heavy energies. And when you're dealing with them yourself, by yourself, you know, it takes a brave soul to battle their own darkness, okay? And I'm a Capricorn moon, so I know all about this type of energy all too well, okay? But it takes a, it ta it takes a certain amount of bravery to, um, to be your own potion, okay? <laughs> to be your own healer um, because you have to brave the storm. You have to brave the tornado. You have to brave the wilderness. And that's what I see that you did, Capricorn, okay? You braved it. And you stood your ground with it and you told the storm, no, you told the darkness, no, you told the emotions, no, you will not overtake me. You will not consume me. I will process this stuff. 
you know, as I should, and then I'm going to move on through it. And um, I'm going to get right on back out there. I'm going to get right on back to juggling my life. I'm going to get right on back to fun. I'm going to be flexible and open to what this new life or this new chapter, this new book, this new version of me has. I'm not going to be consumed by all of this transformation and all of this transition that has happened. It is life. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. What will be, will be. But I believe that the energy of all of this, because it felt packed, it felt layered like a lasagna, like it was really trying to uh, 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 just trample down on you. It was very heavy energy. And you didn't realize how heavy the energy was until you lowered your chariot. You know, you was, you was flying above it and flying through it. <laughs> but when you lowered that chariot, you was like, oh, this is heavy. Okay. All right. Show me more and show me clearly for Capricorn. Show me more and show me clearly for Capricorn. Show me more. And show me clearly. I do want to take the time out to let you know that you do have seven, 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 seven of cups, the seven card, which is the chariot card, and the seven of wands. Now, that is beautiful because what that lets me know is you're going through a uh, point in your life of assessment, okay? It, like on a galactic level, on a universal level, um, your life is being assessed right now, like by your ancestors, your guides, your spirit team, your, your goons, okay, your spiritual goons, you are being assessed right now in a mighty and in a matchless way. So expect good luck, expect abundance, expect prosperity. Um, I believe you're being rewarded for your bravery with battling the the darkness that you know was that came in and tested you okay the heartbreak okay the disappointment the frustration for those of you who lost a job for those of you whose car broke down for those of you who may have even lost a loved one because i can't rule that out even though it doesn't feel like a physical death of someone but for those of you who may have actually lost a physical person either way that too, you still braved that because grief to brave through grief is that's an, that's an ultimate bravery, right? Because you may even still be going through it. So 777 is your number. You may have been seeing it lately. You may just automatically resonate with that uh, triple number. But sevens are a beautiful, beautiful um, number of uh, cosmic luck. Okay, cosmic luck. Show me more if there's more. Okay. Being blessed with intellect. Okay. Um, after you came out of this bravery, after you came, not came out of the bravery, but battled the bravery, um, battled the darkness with bravery, a lot of things were re given to you. And one of the things that you came out with in this new season was a reestablishment or a, re a realignment with mental force. Okay. So um, what you went through up here in this relationship is not going to stop you from loving again. You know, sometimes people can get hurt um, and, and they just feel like, oh, I'll never do it again. Well, you don't feel that way. You're like, nope, I'll love again. I'll trust again. You know, I'll move forward again. I'm not, you know, I'm not bitter. I'm not burnt. You know, it is what it is. Life just be life in and I go with the flow of life. So you, you're definitely blessed with intellect. Because see, it takes a certain amount of mental force to move through that. Um, you're not an emotional person. So uh, not that you don't have emotions. So having emotions and being emotional are two different things. You have emotions. You're not emotional. Like I said down here, you just deal with your emotions on your own by yourself because only you know how to do that for you. Where some other people, people water, water sign people actually need someone to, you know, um, wade through the waters with them. Okay. But yeah, you're definitely blessed with a, um, with justice, you take up for yourself very well, okay? And you brave storms and you come out the winner, okay? You brave storms and you come out the winner. Uh, and that's, I think that matters a lot to Saturn ruled people um, because y'all are already so very 
structured and organized in how you do things. You use a lot of your mental power to structure and organize your life that when things throw you off your pivot, you very quickly have to get back in alignment with your intellect, with your mental force so you can move forward, okay? So that's a good thing that you've been realigned with, with um, sword energy, with intellect, okay? Intuition and knowledge. Queen of Wands, okay? Of course, of course you are a determined person. Of course you, you know, once you made it past, you know, uh, the darkness, the wilderness, um, something reunited your your Queen of Wands energy. I'm hearing, ooh, she's a rebel. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That little song by Doja Cat. I feel like you, like after you had your moment of, bereavement okay with whatever losses you 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 um endured you immediately got yourself back together however you did that it's going to be different for every capricorn but every capricorn has their own way of rebooting and you've rebooted okay you've definitely rebooted and um some of you got new jobs some of you got new cars some of you already got a new boo some of y'all went and just found something new to do and and, and that gave you that that rebooting okay <laughs> Show me more if there's more for Capricorn. Okay. Show me more if there's more for Capricorn. That is entirely too many. Show me one card at a time, Spirit. Show me one at a time if there's any more for Capricorn. Going once. Okay. Going twice. If there's any more information for Capricorn, show me and show me clearly. six of cups um okay so i do i do believe that you are for sure thinking back i, I listen <clears throat> and you're probably not going to ever admit this to anyone and that's okay um being true to thyself is the only thing you have to do but i know as an intuitive reader that you miss this person up here okay um the six of cups is about memories a nostalgia you absolutely miss this person but you're standing your ground because they didn't pull their weight Okay, you felt like the relationship was wopsided. It wasn't equal. It wasn't equivalent. You were giving more and not getting what you deserved out of it. And you're going to stand on that. But that doesn't stop you from missing the hell out of this person. Okay, I believe that y'all had a lot of things in common. Okay, outside of the things that you didn't have in common, you had a lot of things in common. Or maybe he showed you some things or she showed you some things. And now you see those things or you smell that that cologne or you smell that perfume or you see that certain color or you see that certain animal, whatever reminds you of that person. When you think of little things or you see little things, it makes you think of this person. So you, you're definitely, that's why I know you don't hate this person. Okay. Um, I, I believe I said this earlier, you know, it wasn't no hate when you decided to let him go. It wasn't out of, you know, bitch, don't talk to me no more. Or, I fuck with all of it. it wasn't no argument. It was just, look, this ain't it. And I got to go and make sure that I'm with somebody who is, you know, willing to do for me what I'm willing to do for them. Okay. So it was a very, it, I mean, it might've got bumpy. It might've, it, it just didn't get downright ugly i hate you it did it might have got arguments probably were you know negative words were passed it could have got you know some argument but not to the point where y'all hate each other all that to say i know that you're reminiscing and you're thinking about this person okay all right third shuffle if there's any more else for capricorn show me and show me clearly otherwise i will conclude this mess i don't know why these chunks of cards want to come out i feel like capricorn wants to tell me something i feel like capricorn wants to talk but not through the cards. I feel like there are, there's a collective of Capricorn. Y'all need to go get readings, Capricorn. That's because that's the second time that big chunks of cards came out. To me, that's an indication that y'all want to talk. Not my cards want to talk. Capricorns want to talk. You need to find somebody that you feel comfortable talking to. And you need to go open up and talk. Because there, there's something in you that wants to be that you need to communicate. You need to get it out of you, okay? You need to talk. You need to find somebody that you respect, somebody that, that you feel like will listen, somebody that will give you whatever it, it is that you feel like you need in a therapeutic type of way because there's some information and some release that's inside of you that wants to come out, okay? 
So I'm not going to try it anymore. I'm definitely going to take that second chunk of card that came out as a indication that I don't have to shuffle anymore. But that is the um, warning that you guys need to go talk to somebody because I believe that nobody can brave all the storms of life by themselves. OK, um, I believe that you've made it through this storm and you did a really good job, but you may have some bumps and some bruises on you that you need to go allow someone to help you heal. OK. Find somebody that you relate to, that you resonate with, a healer, a therapist, a doctor, or whatever, a mama, a sister, a good good girlfriend. Uh, I don't know, whoever you feel comfortable with, Capricorn, but there is somebody that you need to go talk to to get those hunks <laughs> out of you, okay? All right, so if you watch this in its entirety, I thank you so very much. May you receive all that time back. And guess what, Capricorn? Listen, I've already done, you know, Scorpio, Sag, and I got to you. Your reading, in my opinion, was the best because I saw growth. I saw movement, okay? Not stuck at all. You actually got this world card that indicates a a season um, of your life um, closed. It is completed. And you're on into a whole new season. You have quantum leaped into a new timeline, okay? And that's a beautiful thing. And may it be glorious and uh, favorable for you, okay? Peace.